Hello guys, in this video I will talk about how you can deploy your angular project using github pages. So it is very easy to deploy your code using, using github. So for this what we can do, we just need to add few commands in the angular json file and with this we can deploy our project easily. So, as you can see that here, uh, I am running an angular project here. Let me show you what project I am running here. I am running a project here on the code 4500. So, you can deploy. So, I am going to deploy this application. Here. So, this is the application that we are going to deploy here now. So this is the working application as you can see, see here like it will show the result it is a music application so we are going to deploy this application using angular so let's see what things we need to add so what first step it mentioned is basically change the output path property value that is present in angular json file so in this basically what we need to do is basically we need to replace some string to from this to this string so let's so let's implement it here open the angular json file here search the output so this is the output path property so we need to change this to docs as i mentioned here Okay, first step is this. Let's change the name. Now, next, let's see next step. So, next step is basically you need to run the command to create a build of this project. So, you can easily create build by using this command. In this, you have to add your username. So, this is the thing you firstly need to check. And second is repository name. You need these two things. To deploy your project so, so let's see so here what I have mentioned here like my username is angular development so you place that username with your angular git your github name and second is what is your repository name so here my repository name is this music app so I have copied that name now add this here now run that command in your project now Now it is creating a build. So in the meantime, let's see what we need to do. Now uh, after the, that command, it will update. It will create a one folder in your project. So then, so then you have to push that code. After the build creation, you need to push that code. So let's follow that. After pushing the code, what we have to implement is basically we need to change some settings. So like I have opened my repository. In this, we have to update some settings here. Like what we have to do. So in that, especially search for the GitHub pages here. So as you can see here, this is GitHub pages. So in this, we need to select our source, which is master branch, and it is at and uh, second is basically as if we have created a docs folder here. So update that setting to the docs, then now save it. Now, 
so it will give you one link so in that link you can see your deployed project here so now let's check the build is created or not so build is created now so let me push that code As you can see that I have pushed the code now it is added in here in the code part it you can see that it added the docs folder here now let's wait for some time then we'll open that link in that link it will deploy that application so as you can see that our application is deployed now on this domain so as you can see that we can do the search also here so it will show all those things so now our application is deployed so as you can see that uh, they mentioned that the distribution build within a second means as you can see that it is deployed in within a second so uh, if you want to update some things like you want, if you want to change some design so for this you just what you, you just need to have now you just have to add two things here you just need to push that code and create the build after that now it will automatically update that code mm, i will add all the those github link blog link in the description you can check from there it is uh, uh, one thing to remember like it, it this thing is just only for the angular framework for now and if you want to uh, deploy some static site you can simply follow those steps that it mentioned And if you want to check your link, you can go to the settings. You can check here. If you want to add, if you want to check your site where it is deployed, so for this you can check this link here. Let me mention the link also here. Check link. This is our deployment. And what command we use here? Let me add that also build command. So what build command we use here is like this. So you will get both the things now. And you can easily check all those things. And this is the code that I have added. If you want to check that code, you can check that code also. Okay. Thanks. Thanks guys for watching.